everyone, I'm Pauline and welcome along to Kids Dance where we are doing Scottish crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Scotty Dog uh, keyring. So what will you need? Well, you'll need to find yourself or draw out a template, a simple template of a Scotty Dog. You'll need to get some material. I do like working with felt because it's easy to work with and it doesn't fray. A little bit of um, toy stuffing or something soft to put inside your wee dog when it's done. Some um, Something, either little buttons for eyes or something to make the eyes with. Now, if we're going to make it into a key ring, I've taken this off, this ring off an old key ring and popped my key on it. And we'll need some ribbon, thread, needles, scissors, sort of sewing things and a wee bit glue. Okay, so the first thing, as I said, was to get your Scotty Dog template. Now, you'll need two pieces, so you can either... Pin it on to your material and draw around it and do that twice and cut them out. Or you could fold your material and cut it as one, but that's a wee bit thicker, more difficult to do. Okay. When you've got, then you've got your two little pieces for your dog. Now, before we go on to stitching that together, I've got my key on my key ring, depending what kind of a ring you've got. This for me is easier to do first. So I've got a little bit of a uh, ribbon ready and I'm going to pop it through there and I'm going to put it between the two pieces of my Scotty dog like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put a pin. So if you're using pins, remember to get a grown-up's help. I'm going to put a pin to keep it in place. Okay? Now, all our stitching is going to be the same stitch. It's called a running stitch. And I'm going to show you on this piece of scrap felt what to do. So I've got a piece of wool here just to show you because it's easier for me to show you with this. You're going to roll it round your finger to make a little knot so that it keeps it safe so it doesn't pull through. And then you're going to go to the back of the material here, pull this up through to the front, okay? You're going to go along just a little bit and take your needle back to the back, okay? Like that, there's your first stitch. Then I'm going to bring my needle up again just quite close to where that is. And I'm going to pull it up along a little bit and back down to the back. And you just keep doing that, okay? And that's the stitch that we're going to use to go right round our Scotty dog. But to keep our key safe, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a bit of a needle here with a bit of red thread in. Now I've doubled this to make it, oops, to make it stronger. And I've done the same knot round my finger. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use that stitch just above where my key, where the hoop is for my key. And I'm going to just go back and forward over the top, okay? To keep it safe so that your key won't come off. Okay, so I'm just going to make that nice and secure like that, back and forward several times, keep my key safe, okay? When I've finished that, I'll just do a little stitch on the back. You just do that then on the back, just a tiny little stitch over and over, and then you can cut off that thread, okay? So that's my key, nice and safe. Cut off these bits here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blue thread and I'm going to start, okay, I'm going to start with that running stitch. So I'm going to start um, just maybe along here 
okay so that I'm getting a straight bit to start with and I'm going to do that running stitch I'm going to catch my ribbon in as I go and I'm going to go all the way around here I'm going to leave the doggy's tummy open at the moment because I want to put a little bit of stuffing in and then I'll thread up another bit of thread and I'll go round here and up to meet this. So everything will be together apart from the Scotty Dog's tummy. So are you ready to get sewing? And I'm going to stitch mine now and I'll be back to show you when it's done. Now I've sewn round my little dog and left the tummy open. A couple of hints and tips for you when you're sewing. When we put the key on, remember I did that stitch and I went over and over the, again and again. Do that each time your thread runs short just to finish it off because then you can cut off the end. Okay. The other thing is that although I caught my ribbon in here, then I went back and did some more stitches over the top so that this will be nice and secure and that you won't lose your key. Okay. Now we're ready to put a little bit of stuffing in, so anything soft that you can find. And we're just going to push it in here at the bit that you left open. And with the top of a pen or a pencil, then you can work it up like into the head, down to the legs, up to the tail. Okay. When you've got, you don't want to put an awful lot in. When you've got enough in, then get your needle threaded up again and finish it off by sewing along the tummy. Now, just to finish it off, I have glued two little buttons on for eyes. You could also stitch those on. I used some PVA glue. I think if you have fabric glue, it would work even better. And I've cut a little bit of ribbon and tied a bow around my Scotty dog's neck. Now, this one is a key ring, but you could use this as a bag charm or if you wanted to give it to a grown-up as a gift, then don't put the ribbon on and maybe put a little safety pin on and they could wear it as a brooch. All sorts of things you could do with it. Hope you enjoy making it and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.